Hey guys, so today's video I want to talk about more in detail of the sutures in this cabinet. So everything you see in here is basically what our, all our surgeons uses in combination of different things. I mean, not everybody uses the same sutures, but everything is on here. It's what they use, okay? So looking at these sutures in the beginning is very intimidating. There's too many numbers, there's too many things going on on the box and you don't know which one. Okay, well then I figured out a way to explain it to you guys and I used this when I was in school. Nobody taught me this. I just figured out that maybe the number line in algebra will help me and surprisingly it does. So this is basically what I have. This is the thread number line, okay? so. If you draw the lumbar line, you go 0, 1, 2, 3 to the right and 0, 1, 0, oh, 2, whatever to the left. So basically anything on the right are the thicker thread, anything on the left are the thinner thread. So obviously when you're going way down here, the thinner the thread. For example, 8 O sutures are usually used in eyes and if you think about it, if 4O is already used on the skin, imagine an 8O. 8O is literally thinner than your hair. So they're a little bit harder to manage because if you lose those sutures, you will never find them on an x-ray. Even 6O BV1 that we use on cardiovascular, they're really, really hard to keep up with. But I love cardiovascular, so I have kind of a technique on how to manage these sutures. But otherwise, basically, the more you go this way, the thinner the thread, and this is what this number means. That's what it means, okay? Just remember that. So, anything that is on the left is used with um, soft tissues, delicate areas, like I said, cardiovascular, eyes, and skin. The highest that I've gone with skin is just 4.0. For eyes is 80 and cardiovascular is 60. I think I've showed you that in a different video, but otherwise I will make another video of um, some sutures that you could really see. Like this one, you could see the thread, and this is 30, so that's already thin. The other packaging for prolines are like this, but most packaging it doesn't really show you how thick the thread is so I can't really show you so all right so moving on anything to the right is the thicker thread so zero one two three and beyond are thick threads and they're used in tougher tissues for more retention in fascia and muscles and again this is just general basic knowledge some surgeons like to use one some surgeons like to use three so it really depends on them on how retention they want and um, their preference so just remember this number line and you will figure out which suture is needed in different cases all right so this number right here not a number but a letter CT, CTX, CT, all that. That's confusing as a student and as a beginner. So the only way that I could really make you guys understand it is to memorize what is the category for these. Like you just kind of group them. So there's CT, there's CT1, there's actually a CT2, but we don't have it here they don't use that here but i'm sure also there's a ct3 so you just kind of group those types of needles and you'll see the difference so basically this is a group of the cts there's ct ct1 and ct2 ct is this needle right here no matter where you go one two oh three oh or any type of box like this is pds this is monochrome this is vicro this is chromic no matter what it is ct needle will always be the same needle okay ct1 will always be the same needle in every single one of them that's just how it is so 
the only difference is is that is it um which one are you going to use so ct is the biggest needle ct1 is medium size and ct2 is obviously smaller but we're not talking like like uh we're not talking like that needle we're talking ct2 they don't have a ct2 so i can't really show you but it's basically smaller than this if you think about it in the middle mid-size mid-size of this so that's how you group them now there's this other group called CTXB and CTX. CTXB is this. Look at the difference between the two. It's basically the size. Okay? CTXB. And then there's CTX right here. And if you put these two, it's kind of hard to see. Obviously the CT the CTX is bigger. Is it bigger? I don't even know. CTX. So these looks like they're in the same group. This is CTXB. This is just CTX. So if you look at the size over here, they look like they're the same. But this one is just a different number. You see, if you group them together, you will know they're in the same category. And then what we have here is PDS. PDS are these. These are very thick needles. I mean, not needles. The thread and they're high retention. I don't know if I can. I can open that. But this is TP1. Look how huge this is. It's huge. And then this one is um, looped, which means that it has a loop right there. So it's not just one thread. There's two. So these are not looped. So CT is the same as this needle right here. Okay. You guys see that? It's really hard to explain this, but this is the best way I could do it. If you guys have any questions, let me know. But this is what we have. So whenever a surgeon is asking for a suture, he's going to say, okay, I'll take a zero vicro. So you're going to go here. If you know your sutures... You're just going to ask him, okay, doc, you want a CT, CT1, CT2, which one do you want? I'll take a CT. So it'll be this one, zero vicyl CT. Does it matter if it's undyed or dyed? I mean, that's surgeon's preference. If you know your surgeon does not like to use dyed, then you should already know that. For chromic also, okay, I want a um, 3 chromic. Okay, doc, which one do you want? You want a CT? You want an SH? I want an SH. Okay, 3 chromic SH. And this is it. Alright, guys. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate your support on this channel.